Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to the third episode. And here we find that we meet another block. Laura was pleased this one was behind a wall. Oh. Maybe he'd never know what she could do. Maybe, maybe they could just have a conversation. Hang out. <laughs> as long as he didn't find out what she could do. Which would never happen so long as they stayed separate. Interesting. So this horizontal line is another girl that is quite shy from what I know and she's afraid of for others to find out what she can do. Weird. Let's see what she can do because I'm sure we will find out. <laughs> and Chris. Uh, the most unlikely person, if I can say person, or unlikable. <laughs> okay, let's go, Chris. Let's help Laura out. Okay, this is this was quite simple. Let's see what uh, where this leads us. Okay. 3.2 Laura didn't have time to worry about the ominous pixel cloud. Pixel cloud? It had been following her for some time and it had kept itself to itself until now. Okay. More important was the little orange thing, <laughs> which was looking at her in a way that she kind of, well, liked. Ooh, Chris is a ladies' man. Uh, so we cannot jump there. Okay, Laura, Laura is here, so I guess we will find out what happens. So we put Laura here, and Chris. If oh, if I go with Laura here, and can I? Ooh, so this is the superpower of Laura make others jump really really high okay so this cloud that we see is the pixel cloud as the square who had shyly introduced himself as chris bounced atop laura she began to worry that he was just using her like <laughs> all the others had they'd all bounce too and then they disappeared when her back was turned okay so she has a bit of history Okay, but I'm guessing Chris will not be that guy. Perfect. Also, I would say that uh, we know Chris, uh, that he needs help to proceed further, and this time we have Laura. But um, the affinity Chris has for Laura might be due to the fact that Laura is in the same situation. <laughs> Only the ominous pixel cloud ever remained, looking a little bigger and a little less hungry with every disappearing friend. Hungry? I saw that uh, cloud there, but it doesn't seem to be uh, an, en an enemy of some sort. Or Okay, we will find out. Okay, so this chapter is all about Chris and Laura? With every bounce, Laura found herself less and less irritated by Chris. <laughs> she started to miss him when he wasn't there. On another platform or something. Okay. So, I guess... Uh, I guess Chris would need to go up there, right? Okay. And for that we need to get Laura there, so Chris will help her like so, perfect. And... How will Chris go? Up again. Come on Chris. I'm trying to press... Ah, perfect, perfect. And we get here and press the button. And then we have this platform here, but I guess Laura will take an elevator. 
She'd wonder what he was up to. Was he missing her? He wasn't saying very much. <laughs> yeah, indeed, indeed. Chris is not the talkative kind at this moment. Pretty weird for him. Okay, let's go on to the next level. And the pixel cloud. Chris was in love. <laughs> she was perfect. He had to tell her so. At some point, he would definitely tell her. At some point. Probably best to wait for a moment the large, ominous pixel cloud wasn't about, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably best to wait. Okay, if you say so. Oh, so we need Chris. Okay. Oh, so we have this... It ran away. Okay, okay. So... Oh, we need to get go like this. Laura then Chris. Laura then Chris. Okay. Or... Yeah, this is faster. Much faster. Unless I screw up and miss a platform. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. I just missed it after the save point, so all good. Perfect, Chris. You see, you're a pretty skilled jumper. Under the right circumstances and with the right help. <laughs> okay. And we have John and Thomas. Okay, so I guess I'll go with John here. Press this. Chris was massively disappointed to run into the gang again. <laughs> He'd enjoyed the alone time with his new girlfriend. I bet. And this is Thomas. Thomas is torn. And then I guess Chris is right. Okay. You go Chris and press that button. Was it too early to refer to Laura as his girlfriend? <laughs> Only if I say it out loud, he told himself. He didn't want to scare her off. Okay, we have here a pretty big, okay, especially made for John. So I guess this world indeed makes chambers, especially for each and every block. Okay, but I'm really curious about that cloud. Okay, so John. Chris, Laura is already in place, and Thomas. The others seemed suspicious of Laura, and the eager-looking pixel cloud of death which seemed to be watching her. Sure, they'd use her inherent bounciness to reach slightly higher mm -hmm. jump points, but they wouldn't strike up a conversation with her. Chris found them rude. Well... Rude? And always there. <laughs> uh, well, yes, indeed. I would say this is quite rude. But uh, what can we say? Laura, I guess, makes us uh, or makes them uncomfortable, let's say. Because it uh, seems she came with that pixel cloud. Okay, let's press all the buttons. So no Thomas this time. Okay, and perfect. And one more. So um, I could say that the puzzle started to be more interesting, even though they are uh, based on platforming mostly. 
and uh, yeah here for example we need to seems we need to get John back to help Laura but uh, yeah we will see if they get even more complex okay let's go like this John's time to help Laura Chris Chris you stay here okay and take John onto the right perfect next level Three point eight. What do we have here? The others wouldn't drop it. Who's that cloud guy? Why is he following us? What's that rumbling, hungry sound he keeps making? Chris, can we just leave Laura behind? Mhm. Mm Rude. Well, I would say indeed. Um. So Laura comes with some baggage. Um, let's stay with John here in case others need his, his help. Not Thomas, I'm sure of it, but... So, if I jump with Thomas the whole way... But uh, what if uh, the others need some help from uh, Thomas or John? There is no point to jump up there, so... Okay. Can I go with both of them? Uh, Laura and Chris, okay, should be fine until now. Uh, I would say this, that this puzzle seems more interesting, but uh, yeah, okay, let's Laura, you go, perfect, and uh, okay, okay, so a simple puzzle, but <laughs> still requiring some thought. Um, I think I will fast forward because uh, this might take a while for me. So uh, here we go. And we finally did it. Good job, Chris, John, Laura, and Thomas. Cool. Okay, so. Uh, Hmm, seems now that we need to get Laura up, up there onto the platform because she is the most uh, less skillful at jumping from what I see. Okay, Thomas, Chris and then John and then platform. Yeah, this worked. Perfect, perfect. And here, oh, jump, jump, jump Laura. Perfect. Okay, and then let's get Chris upstairs. On to John, and that's perfect. Okay, Thomas, do you need help? No, you can handle yourself. Let's go with John here. And let's see <laughs> how can we synchronize them. Can we? I guess they will synchronize themselves at some point, right? Yes. <laughs> 3.9. And here we have Claire. Welcome Claire to the level. Okay, so uh, I like another complex one, or at least it seems to be. Uh, Thomas, press the button. And what's happening? Okay, water level is rising. Okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, Chris, you jump there. Laura liked her new gang. She <laughs> liked Chris. I bet. She liked having friends. These ones seem to be sticking around too. Not like those losers from before. <laughs> okay, Chris. And we go on to the next level where we take John on to Claire. Claire seem, seems to 
be quite strong because he is able to carry all the others or her uh, how do you call it her buoyancy is quite strong so <laughs> okay John you press this button and I guess we will rise again indeed indeed perfect how do we make this okay we need to get Chris he's the most important one and for that ouch okay John I guess I guess we will need what will we need? Okay. Like so. And John. And Laura. And then Chris. Perfect. And then Thomas. And then John. Can handle himself, but going to click like so with Laura here Claire here and come on come on John and Laura and on to the next level 3.10 so the last one until the fourth chapter what is this the pixel cloud was getting closer it was spending more and more time hovering around Laura could tell it was making the others uncomfortable. Oh, okay. So I would say this is <laughs> a puzzle. <laughs> How can we make this? So we need to get Laura up onto a platform in order to help Chris, I guess. Oh no, Chris can uh, do it without a problem. Perfect. Okay, so Laura is the main deal here. And maybe Claire too. Perfect. And Claire, um, you go down. Okay, it's better to go onto this platform because it's uh, on the same. Uh, okay, on the same uh, rotation as the spikes there. So, John, you're the next. Perfect. And Claire. I'll wait for the next. Here I go. So this and this was this wasn't much of a puzzle in the end, so <laughs> Okay, next chapter. No simulation can support too many entities. At a certain point something has to give. If Thomas hadn't possessed those exact personality traits, it's likely that the story would have ended there. We'd still be in business. Hmm. So we have the whole gang. And I think onto the left side. And Thomas did not like the cloud. He'd long since stopped listing his observations, but he instinctively observed that this thing was bad. Hmm. And he'd been right about the water. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. How do you get Claire up? I guess we need uh, Chris's help. Yep. Laura, you need to get up. Come on, Chris. Okay. Uh, you go like this, Thomas. Perfect, and then Laura. Perfect. Uh, also, I would say that uh, there is a control. 
didn't say issue but quality of life uh, so if the controls would be in a manner that you can select the exact uh, block that you want it would be much better because the only controls methods that I have here is only left or right through each block so uh, yeah John and Thomas Okay, Thomas, you're the last one, so I'll put you here now, uh, Claire, John, and the last one, Chris, perfect. So what's with that cloud that is chasing Laura and everyone is afraid of? Okay, so uh, Chris with his skills. Oh, nice. Perfect, perfect. Good job, Chris. Good job. Let's take John on tour right now. And like so. Perfect. And. Okay, here we need to press this button with Chris. Oh, I get it, I get it. I know how to, I know. Like so, John. Jump here and then Chris should be able to, yes. Very nice. Okay. Two are done. Let's see on to the others. That's Thomas for sure. And do we need to put Laura onto Claire? That's for sure. Like so. And now Claire. And now Laura. <laughs> Good job, Thomas. Thanks. Anxious. And perfect. Thomas could tell Chris was in love. And that was fantastic and everything, but that didn't mean they could let the doom cloud keep following them. <laughs> Thomas was going to put his foot down once they got to the next level. Oh. Okay. Let's see how that will be. Uh, Laura, you stay like so. Come on, come on, Thomas. Perfect. Oh, this is simple. One, two, and Thomas. <laughs> the cloud kidnapped Thomas. Seriously? Chris, Miss Thomas. Wow. Wow. Did not see that coming. He felt a little guilty, too. Without his love for Laura and subsequent reunion with the guys, Thomas would probably still be with them. Well, okay. Okay, so uh, Thomas was kidnapped by the Pixel Cloud. Hmm, and we have a pretty interesting level here. Uh, so I would guess this would be a good spot to end it. And in the next episode, we will see how t how the gang will rescue Thomas, because this is a game about Thomas, so I'm sure that uh, this is not the end of Thomas. Well, pretty interesting game. I love the feeling as until now, and the uh, new character Laura came with a bit of mystery, so <laughs> with that pixel clown to make things more interesting. So. Well, pretty nice. Uh, thank you a lot for going through the journey until now and I hope you like it. Please feel free to like or dislike the video, comment down below with your thoughts on this little journey of the five blocks, the gang, and yeah, I hope I see you in the next one. Thank you again, have a great day, bye.